Hi there, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Melinda, and I mostly share about motherhood and things like that, homemaking and homeschooling. Today's video might be a little bit different, but it's something that I wanted to share a video about anyway. And so I thought I would share it like this. Let's hope the lighting works out. I'm recording this at night once my little ones are all in bed this time. Because that's what seems to be working out for this one. So anyway, this time what I want to share about is giving. And about that verse, give and it shall be given unto you. In many ways, specifically as it applies to moms, but also to anyone in general. I don't know if I think of this more living in Costa Rica than... Uh, in the years I lived in Canada, it just didn't g get as close to me. I mean, um, we didn't have people stopping by and begging for food sometimes. It's not like something like Costa Rica isn't considered a, a very poor country, but we have people coming by and asking for food or selling some little thing or asking for one thing or other quite a bit. And so it has made me think a bit about that. But where it says, given it shall be given unto you. Uh, the verse e that I'm thinking about is Luke 6, 38, where it says, Given it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together and running over, shall men give unto your bosom. For with the same measure that you meet with all, it shall be measured to you again. Now there's different versions, so some might make it clear. But God's word makes it very clear that if we give, he will give back to us. When we were newly married, for a wedding gift, someone gave us this book. It's in Spanish, but the English version is, I'll have a link for it in the description. It's called Nevertheless I Live. In Spanish, they named it Crucified with Christ, but it all comes from the same verse. But it has a lot of principles that really helped us think about what we were doing with our time, with our finances. And I think it's a really good book. And so, but in there, one thing it mentioned is that give and it shall be given unto you. And that when we give, we don't lack. And we thought of it and we noticed it in our own home quite a bit. I remember especially noticing it first when our oldest was born. She was our hardest sleeper. I mean, all the other babies, yeah, all babies have gone through a stage of not being able to sleep well, but... She was the latest one. We'd often be up till 11 at night with her or something. And my husband and I were used to full nights before that. We always had good long nights. And so I was surprised that it didn't cost us more to recover that sleep. Now I know sometimes there's times, and yeah, it does, but I thought of it. We were giving of ourselves to care for our baby and God was giving us the sleep we needed. Of course, we were tired sometimes, and there were days where I wouldn't have been saying it this confidently. But I feel like we didn't lose out as much as, we didn't have to recover all those hours of sleep that we lost with her. And there's been other ways then we started noticing. When we'd help others financially, it's not that money would come to us, but we'd have no extra cost. Things would come to us. We would be given fruits and vegetables. We'd find an umbrella by the side of the road. We would, it was little things like that. When my husband, um, after, yeah, when our oldest was a few months old, uh, he was mowing with a push mower on a hillside, you know, like he shouldn't, but <laughs> he mowed off his big toe. And he couldn't work for three weeks. But we were given so much then we had left to give to others. And it's just interesting to see how God has used that over and over when we give our time to him. We've noticed when we start lacking time or lacking financially, we look around, we see we haven't been giving, haven't been giving of our time to God or of our finances or whatever it is. And once we start again, we usually have enough. And that has just been some such an interesting principle to see over and over again. 
as moms, we give of our bodies for pregnancy and for labor and for nursing our babies. And it's amazing what all we do and we still survive. How much we give, God gives us back what we need. We give of our time. And sure, we feel stressed and pressured sometimes, at least I do, and I think most every mom does. Maybe a few have learned the secret. At times, it shouldn't be like that full time. But it's just such a blessing to see how when we give of ourselves, God gives to us. There's different ways to give. I'm not just talking of financially. We can give of our time, of our strength to others. We can give material goods. That's one thing we often sooner, like food and stuff, do here. When someone comes asking, because, you know, one doesn't know what the money will be used for. So if we give them some food, some cookies, something like that. There's so many ways to give, and there's also something that sometimes we need to know when not to give, and anyone living in a third world country, like I said, Costa Rica is on a, uh, I wouldn't call it poor, we live well. It's a lower level maybe than most of North America, but it, we live well. But most everyone living in these countries knows it's not w wise to just always give. Like, it's, it's your heart. It's not that, oh, okay, I don't want to give today. No. For the other person's sake who's asking, it's not always good to give. And so that, we need to weigh that. We need to ask God for wisdom. God will give you wisdom if you don't know when to give or when not. We've had to, sometimes we had neighbors who kept asking, kept asking until we were about burned out and God gave us wisdom to know how to, how to end that, how to balance it. When should we give? When should we not? This book exactly, like after you live in this kind of situation quite a bit, you tend to get hard hearted. <laughs> And someone asks for money and they say they'll return it and you're just sure they won't because no one ever does. Well, this book says, you know the verse that says, love believeth all things? How does that work? Well, he translated it. He said, love gives the benefit of a doubt. And that's what we can often do here. The first time someone comes or something, we can give them the benefit of a doubt and give freely. And the second time, well... We already know how things go, and we have to decide with God's wisdom when to give and when not to give. If you're a mom, I've sometimes talked about self-care being important. We need to pour, we can't pour from an empty cup. We need God to fill us in order to be able to give sometimes. And so there is a balance. How do we know when to and when not? Ask God for wisdom for those times. But just remember, when you give, with your whole heart, according to his will, he will give you to what you need. I want to end with a verse in First Chronicles 29. First Chronicles 29, 11 to 14 says, Thine, O Lord, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty for all that is in he the heaven and in the earth is thine. Thine is the kingdom, O Lord, and thou art exalted as head above all. And that is true. Everything even that we have is the Lord's. Both riches and honor come from thee, and thou reignest over all. And in thy hand is power and might, and in thine hand it is to make great and to give strength unto all. Everything depends on God. Now, therefore, our God, we thank thee and praise thy glorious name. But who am I, and what is my people, that we should be able to offer so willingly after this sort? For all things come of thee, and of thine own have we given thee. So the things we give, it is from the things that are the Lord's anyway. So we shouldn't worry about it. He has more than enough for us. I want to encourage you, especially as moms, giving a lot of your strength and time and energy to raising your families and feeling weary sometimes. Look to God for strength because it is all from Him anyway. It's something I try to remember often. And when I feel my greatest need is when he can show his strength in me. Thank you for watching and I invite you to subscribe 
to see more videos in the future and we'll see you in the next video.